Flux, Flux, Flux. Flux is in the news today with a new partnership as well as a new release of Flux OS. We're also going to be talking about a new strategic partnership surrounding BitTensor as well as the release of verified assets on Ironfish. All of that today on the episode of Blocks where I cover cryptocurrency news from the perspective of a cryptocurrency miner as quickly as possible. Let's get into it. BitTensor has established a strategic partnership with Cerebros, an AI hardware and software company. This collaboration has led to the development of the BTLM model, a 3B model designed to achieve accuracy and in seamless inference with extended sequence lengths. The BTLM model has been integrated into the BitTensor network and its performance data will be shared in the coming days. BitTensor has successfully executed the world's first incentivized pre-training using GPT-2 on their testnet. Incentivized pre-training is aimed at democratizing access to computational resources for AI model development. This achievement is a step towards providing more open source AI access. As BitTensor progresses, they are attracting attention from AI and machine learning experts and are committed to making the network more inclusive. Their focus on cultivating a diverse community of contributors and recognizing the role of high quality data is central to their mission. Mark your calendars for August 10th when the Open Tensor Foundation will host a TGIFT Twitter Spaces event to discuss these updates in more detail and address questions from the community. Neura AI, which goes by the ticker XNA, has teamed up with Flux Labs, the folks behind Rod on Flux. Neura AI's concentration is on AI and IoT, while Flux Labs is making strides in the Web3 cloud arena. This partnership seems to be about aligning their goals. Neura AI aims to deploy its applications on the Flux platform, which Flux Labs is enthusiastic about as well. The potential that could stem from this collaboration is notable. Flux Labs, represented by Run on Flux Labs, has formally welcomed Neura AI as its partner. Their joint focus is on exploring the fusion of AI technology and the potential of the Web3 cloud. It's a move that aligns with their ambitions. When you break it down, it's about AI, IoT, and Web3 cloud converging. Of course, don't forget about proof of useful work coming in the future for Flux. These are critical aspects of the crypto landscape and hold the promise of shaping the future. Ironfish is adding a new feature, verified assets. Recently, the Ironfish wallet CLI version 1.6.0 introduced this feature, aiming to enhance security and user confidence when dealing with custom assets on the platform. In the realm of cryptocurrencies, you're probably familiar with the multitude of tokens sharing similar tickers. A simple oversight can lead to users mistakenly trading or adding malicious tokens to their wallet. Wallets. Verified Assets aims to mitigate this risk and provide a layer of protection. Ironfish's Verified Assets feature functions similarly to how other wallets offer security guardrails. This helps users by notifying them if they're interacting with a verified asset. Imagine seeing a green check mark next to the iron ticker. This symbolizes a verified iron token, providing users peace of mind. The curation of verified assets is a meticulous process carried out manually by IF Labs and the Ironfish Foundation. This step prepares for the upcoming bridge on the Ironfish roadmap, which will facilitate wrapped assets from other chains. This verification process ensures users can confidently perform private multi-asset transfers on decentralized exchange platforms. It's noteworthy that in the future, the management of verified assets will be be handed over to the Ironfish community. This underscores the responsibility of wallet providers to recognize verified assets. Ironfish hopes that other wallet providers within their ecosystem will adopt the same verified asset list maintained by the Ironfish Foundation. We have some exciting news for y'all from Flux OS. The latest version 
4.7.0 has just been released and we're here to dissect the key improvements and changes that come with it, albeit just a couple. The new version boasts significant improvements in the realm of application message requests. The Flux OS developers have been hard at work to enhance this crucial aspect of the user experience. With refined messaging requests, you can expect smoother communication and interactions with the Flux OS environment. Beyond the highlighted changes, Flux OS version 4.7.0 brings along a slew of other minor improvements and fixes. While these might not grab the spotlight, they collectively contribute to a more seamless and stable user experience. These enhancements underline FluxOS's commitment to refining their operating system, ensuring that users have a polished and glitch-free experience. So that covers all of the news today. It's pretty short and sweet. That being said, Flux continues to impress with the amount of partnerships it has across the cryptocurrency sphere and it is interesting how, just how far of a reach flux has surrounding interactions with other tokens this is kind of uncommon across most of it other projects that maybe have done this have been like komodo in the past and a lot of that has to do of course with the zelcore team and the wallet integrations over there Either way, it's never a bad thing to see blockchains cooperating together, and I hope we see more of that in the future. Thanks everybody for watching. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bells down below. Don't forget, if you want to check out my daily moves, you can see them over at sonofatech.locals.com, and you can get a free month with a purchase of the crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com. Links in the description. I will see you next Tuesday.